Okay, we're getting ready to etch one of our circuit boards. What I'm going to etch it with is uh, ferric chloride. Uh, PCB etchant solution, got it from Radio Shack. It is ferric chloride, 16 ounces. Um, I believe I got this for about $11.99 or $9.99, something like that. It's uh, fairly inexpensive. Uh, what I did was uh, I took the ferric chloride. You will see it's really, really dark. You cannot see the PCB while it's in the solution. I'll show you. I'll just take it and drop it in there and the board actually is now etching so what you want to do is you want to just rock it back and forth I did heat this up I heated it up to about 40 degrees Celsius uh, considering room temperature is about 25 Celsius but rock it back and forth this way and then you want to rock it back and forth this way okay, here's the circuit board after about 12 minutes of etching you'll notice uh, right there in the middle um, it's uh, still got some. Uh, it's still got some copper on it. That's what we're working on now, and it's got some over here All on right, the edge. Here we are with the circuit board, and you can look. You can see through the sun that it's actually done pretty good. But I want to show you something. I don't know if you can see it right here. It didn't come through, and the reason it didn't come through was because before I started etching it. I'm sorry, it's right here. You can see it on the camera. Um, before I started etching it, uh, I actually took my finger. And touched it right there reason I did that was to show you guys what it looks like um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera but uh, I can see it pretty good and there's actually a fingerprint there um, where it uh, where it didn't etch so if you run into something like this on the board let me show you really quickly uh, one way to fix this okay here we are back at the etchant tank and the problem area, if you can recall, is right there where it didn't come through. So what you want to do is you just want to get a little piece of uh, cloth, a uh, little piece of sponge, paper towel, whatever. Get you some, uh, get you some uh, ferric chloride on it. And then don't do this really aggressively. Do this pretty soft. And just take it and rub it on that spot. If you're too aggressive with it, what will happen is you will uh, you will cut off the photoresist or you'll rub off the photoresist. You rub off the photoresist and um, you're going to start etching away your pads. And then there's not a whole lot you can do if you can do that. Anyway, just start rubbing it like this a little bit. And that should help clean okay, it up. Here we are back in the sun uh, and that's the little problem area right there and it is completely etched and if you look at this whole board under the sun you'll see the whole thing is etched off and that is how i tell this little black stuff that you see behind it right here that's actually etching you can wipe it off see so it goes away now i'm going to take this board and i'm going to uh to rinse it off and then uh, we'll call it etched Okay, here's our second method. Uh, you'll see I just have a little sponge here. It's about a one inch by one inch piece. Got my board here done with the uh, press and peel blue. Got my ferric chloride here heated to about uh, about 40 Celsius. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little sponge and fill it full of the uh, ferric chloride. And then what we're going to do is right here, I'll just show you. I'll just rub it right here on this spot. And you really can't do this um, with the um, with the UV sensitive board. You do it with the UV sensitive board. You're going to run your uh, acid, rub your acid resist off. With uh, with ferric chloride like this, you can just take it and just rub it on the press and, press and pill blue. Because this press and pill blue, this stuff is actually. Uh, pretty hardy it's really robust on this board but what you do is you just take your uh, sponge and full your ferric chloride just rub it on and keep rubbing and you can see right there I don't know if you can see it but it's actually already um, right in here it's actually already it's already etched through so we'll go a little a little orderly here and I'll start at the bottom on our names
and just rub it down. You can see it's starting to etch, especially right there. It's already etched there, and it is etched here. All right, we're almost done with this uh, this board. I've had this uh, sponge rubbing this for, gee whiz, only about five minutes. Like I said, it, it, uh, it doesn't take very long at all. But what we did in this one, like we said earlier, we were going to do, we uh, purposefully broke some traces. The um, reason we did that is so when we get to the validation stage, we're going to show you how to fix it. Fix some broken traces. Yeah, this... this uh, this method, it uh, really doesn't take hardly any time at all. Uh, it does make your shoulder sore, especially if it's a really big board. What I'm doing now is I'm just kind of going over it just a little bit. Just to make sure that I got everything done. And it looks like we did. Looks like this method works pretty good. And what I did was I left this little hole right here um, with copper. I didn't rub it. Uh, that's one nice thing about this technique is you can uh, actually go in here. See, there's some little copper. There's a little copper right here. I can just go in there and rub it. And it is gone. And we can do the same thing right here with this hole. Uh, I just take this sponge. Just rub it on that, and boom, it is. It is almost gone. Watch this. This works really great with uh, with uh, ferric chloride heated, like I said, to about 40, 40 Celsius. Hot enough to work. Um, this ferric chloride right here, I've run a ton of boards through it, so it's pretty dirty. Um, if you have clean ferric chloride... Uh, it's going to etch this a lot faster. And there it is. It is done. There is no copper on that at all. Etched completely off. And that's it. This board is done. Two boards. So I'm going to show you one more technique for the third board. And that is the board we, we did the Oracal with. Uh... And that is basically using a, a tank. And we're going to put it in some, uh, some chemical that you can get online. So here's this particular board. On to the next one. Okay, guys, we're going to etch another board. And this time I'm going to use sodium persulfate. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive. Um, this container right here will make um, uh, one gallon of etch it. I got it from MG Chemicals. If I remember correctly, it was about uh, $25. Uh, it's a little bit messier. You'll need an etching tank. This etching tank I made by myself. I made it so that here at the, at the opening, it's about a half an inch. Uh, commercial etching tanks that you see, um, typically it's like an inch to two inches, and you have to use a whole lot of etching. Uh, I did it like this, so I would, didn't have as use as much etchant. You also see that I have it inside a um, a uh, plastic container. Uh, this little hose right here, I uh, drilled down in through here, and then I have uh, little holes right here, so the solution will bubble. The reason I want it to bubble is so it keeps it uh, keeps it mixed up. And uh, I got the sodium persulfate already mixed up. Uh, I've already got it heated up to about 40 degrees Celsius, so uh, 
let me go ahead and fill this thing, put it on, and you guys can watch it etch. This is the spruce board for, with the uh, Oracal. And I'm just going to sit it in there, and it's actually pretty quick. Let me zoom in so you can see it. It's been about nine minutes. Um, I slowed the video back down. You can look. If you look real close, you can see the um, the copper is turned um, kind of like a, a dull orange color, and there are bubbles. You can tap on it, and you can see bubbles have uh, have built up around all over everything. We're at the 14 minute mark. Um, you'll notice this area right here has finished etching. This is finished. Uh, here, here, these four, this right here is pretty much finished etching. Uh, this very top is finished etching right here. Uh, the big difference between this and ferric chloride, besides the fact that you can see it work, um, is the fact that the uh, sodium persulfate here is transparent and we can watch it and I can already see right here it's finished etching here here once it starts um, uh, almost being done it, 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 it really gets fast um, and you notice the sodium persulfate pretty much etches the whole board at the same time instead of just with the ferric chloride where it etches etches on the edges depending on how you were sloshing it in so I'm gonna speed it up now and you can watch it uh, you can watch it finish etching Okay, we're calling this board uh, etched, so what I'm going to do is uh, just pull it out and put it in some water here. And you can see that is a fully etched board and it is ready to go. Alright, let's wrap this video up. Uh, we did the Oracal 651 with the, in the etching tank with the uh, sodium perchlorate came out really nice here is the press and peel blue it came out really nice don't tell McCray this but when he validates the circuit board I uh, right here erased some of that correction we did on the traces and I erased one right here so this trace has two in it he told me he goes uh, make sure you give me a circuit board that's got something wrong with it so when I validate I can show people how to fix it so I set, I set him up and here is the UV PCB. Now remember with the UV PCB, we use the ferric chloride with the press and peel blue. We use the uh, we use the ferric chloride and and the sponge. So here's all three circuit boards, all three etched three different ways. 